Hello friends, this is Seher from Easy Beasy and the topic that we are going to discuss today is called as discovery of DNA. Most of the people believe that DNA was discovered by James Watson and Francis Crick in 1953. Yes, they did discover the exact structure of DNA, that's why they were awarded for Nobel Prize. But they were not the one who actually discovers the DNA. Rather, DNA was discovered way before them in 1869 by German physiological chemist named as Johann Friedrich Meijer. Meijer in his early childhood stage was a very shy person, so that's why he wanted to be a priest. But his father doesn't allow him to become a priest. So he accepted his father's wishes and entered the medical school. Now in the meanwhile, he also gets suffered from typhoid fever. That results in the hearing impairment for him. So when he completed his graduation from the medical school in 1868, he was not willing to be a practicing physician because of his hearing problem. So he wanted to take part in research. Now his major focus was to find out or classify the matter present in the nucleus. Because at that time, no one ever successfully separated the nucleus from their cells without rupturing it. So that's why Meijer took white blood cells or lymphocytes as his specimen for several different tests. Because white blood cells were known to contain large nuclei. So he contacted a medical clinic nearby and asked for the bandages that were used on the pus cells. And then he washed those bandages and then the water does contain the white blood cells. Now the next step is to separate the nuclei from their host cell without rupturing it. Now he did lots and lots of trial and error experiments and finally succeeded in separating the nucleus from the cells. Now what he was expecting was a protein present inside the nucleus because at that time it was believed that protein is responsible for heredity material transferring from parents to their offsprings. But rather he found DNA. So what he actually did was that he took the lymphocytes or white blood cells and then he washed it with alcohol. By doing this, it removes the lipid bilayer present on the outer membrane of the cell. Then he washed it with pepsin that he took from a pig's stomach. By doing this way, it removes all the matter present in the cytoplasm, leaving the nucleus there. Now he did a base wash by using baking soda. By doing this, it will rupture the nuclear membrane, releasing all the matter present within the nucleus. And finally, then he washed it with the acid. And by doing so, he found a white precipitate inside a test tube. Well, at that time, he was thinking that it is a protein, but rather it was a DNA and he called it a nuclear. Then he took other type of cells like Solomon sperm cells and tried to do the same experiment and find the nuclein again. Now how does Meijer know that this white precipitate is not a protein? Well, he did the elemental analysis with it. When he was going to separate all the elements present in that test tube, he found hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, carbon and phosphorus. Well, there are some amino acids that contain sulfur, but none of the amino acid contains phosphorus in it. And that's how he get the idea that this is not a protein. Then he tried to diffuse this material from higher concentration towards lower concentration. And he find out that the diffusion was occurring, but the speed was very low. And that's how he deducted it, that this is quite a large molecule that is taking time to diffuse from higher concentration towards lower concentration. He called this new molecule a nucleon because this material is present inside the nucleus. 
After observing all these things, he then published the paper in 1871. And in that paper, he did said that, It seems probable to me that a whole family of such slightly wearing phosphorus-containing substance will appear as a group of nucleons equivalent to protein. Well, after his remarkable discovery, more than 70 years have passed, but no one recognizes him or his work. And then he suffered from tuberculosis and died in 1895. Then years later, another scientist called as Erwin Chargaff in 1949 finally recognizes him. As he noted that in 1961 historical account of 19th century science, Charles Darwin was mentioned 31 times. Thomas Huxley, 14 times, but Meijer, not even once. He also noted that Meijer's discovery of nucleic acid was unique among the discoveries of the four major cellular components, in that it could be dated precisely to one man, one place, one date. So as Mama Coco remembers her father, we should remember that DNA was discovered by none other than Johann Frederick Meijer. That's it for now. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like it, please subscribe our channel. Thank you. Bye-bye.